And it all operates, it's all good. Let me, uh, I'll put this down real quick. Operate for everybody. There it is. Anyways, it comes out 58 inches, boom. It fits like a glove. All right, you guys said that you guys wanted to see more of um, what I was doing in regards to the slide outs on my Jeep. Right now I have this slide mounted and then these two slides mounted as well. Right there. They are all functioning and they're mounted with uh, this nut. I'm now forgetting on the size, but it is, a, it is with an Allen key, okay? And I got a nylon. Uh, threaded um, nut. That's the nut. This is this is the bolt. So it's interesting that I actually have this slide mounted on the outside of the L, and the reason for that is is because that's going to be my kitchen setup, and I'm going to be mounting the second one right now. The 8020 is going to come. I'm going to hopefully get the the stuff that I need today. But I got a one by three 8020. And the 1x3 8020 is going to sit, it's going to attach itself right to here, three inches up. So it's going to actually be, it's going to clear this as the point. So once it clears that, I can actually put another piece of 8020 across that. The reason the dimensions have to be spot on is because this three inch lip right here sits in between the ribs of the Jeep. And that's where it's flat and it's, you know, all good. day some more building that's attempting it's actually a really nice day out today it was in the 40s however it's uh temperatures dropping so very luckily i have a space heater in here but i'm still freaking cold i'm wearing two sweatshirts i i know i'm a big guy but i'm looking even bigger right now i cut some uh three inch 80 20 uh one by three i should say which is actually this stuff right here and at 58 inches each, which is the entire length of these slides, these slides will be on the passenger side. I know I said that I was going to do a lot of uh, filming and building, and I just don't know how much of the filming and building I'll be able to get done. Um, I'm hoping to get as much done as possible, but it is really hard to like stop what you're doing, stop your thought process, and record a video about it. But I will try my best to get what I need to get. So some of the one by one I have are uh, four channel opening. Uh, as you can see, all four channels are open. And then I have two other styles that have a one of the channels is actually a smooth side. And then I have another one that's a double. So it's, um, it's like a corner. So my whole idea is to have a black frame with a bamboo like look to it. So it's gonna be a light panel with um, you know, a black framing to it. This has to be weatherproof, so I have to actually treat all of the bamboo. I haven't decided on that yet. I still have to buy the bamboo plywood. I guess I can time lapse this and, and hope for the best. And let's see what happens here.
So I came inside really quickly because I wanted to start varnishing the, uh, the, the, the removable section, I guess, of the deck. And the reason I'm doing that because is, uh, this is the underside of it right now. I wanted to varnish it with enough coat so I could start attaching the hardware to it so it'll stay down in place. And I wanna make sure I can get a few coats on there. Uh, I'm using this stuff, uh, Total Boat. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's the Total Boat, the Rugged Clear Satin Varnish. Now, I'm actually now a partner with them and I'm gonna be using all of their products for all of my epoxy river tables that I do or any epoxy work that I do. Uh, or anything of that nature moving forward uh, because I've used their, tested their product and I've used their product and I really like it a lot. Their boat varnish is UV protected and waterproof. They actually told me to use the gloss before I used the satin and I didn't do that on this, but I will do it on my next one. I'll do, this has one coat, it's not even close to be dried yet. It takes about an hour for it to fully dry and seep into the wood. They usually say between three to six coats uh, of this type for, uh, you know, applications or whatever. Um, I'm probably gonna go on the latter end. I'm probably gonna go closer to six coats. Uh, this stuff is uh, amazing so far. I can't wait to actually test it in UV light, uh, but the reviews on it are really good. And that's one of the reasons why I partnered up with them. And I'm now a brand ambassador and an affiliate with Total Boat. So I believe if you guys wanna grab any of this stuff or if you are doing any epoxy work, please check them out because you get 15% off using my code uh, on your first purchase. I believe the code is GHOST15, but it'll be in the link in the description below. So check all that out, yeha. And it all operates, it's all good. Let me, uh, I'll put this down real quick. Operate for everybody. There it is. Anyways, it comes out 58 inches, boom. Uh, I put it into the Jeep actually last night and it fits like a glove either in this video or in another video I'll show you guys how that all works. You might be looking at this and you looked at the time lapse and you might be thinking to yourself Jared what the heck is taking you so long? The building aspect of it does not take long at all but it's figuring out all the little nuances to get it all right and that's been the problem and it was also like just getting the sizing right you know the dimensions correct all of that like like i said the nuances of all of that is really what took the most amount of time and now it's like figuring out the, you know the end game you know how it all comes together most of my 8020 came from t nuts which is t and then nuts with a z mcmaster's a also a good company and extremely fast delivery but i don't really like their 8020 all that much they're they're black or they're, they're silver 8020 because there's lines in here. Maybe you can see that. And the reason I didn't care about having those right there was because um, they're gonna be the inside. You're not gonna be able to see them. So I like the smooth finish of the one that T-Nuts has. A couple other companies out there. Uh, I just put an order in for end caps because you gotta you know, put an end cap on there. There's also Fastenal that is a company that's out there that sells 8020. There's a bunch of companies that are out there that, that sell 8020, but those are I use, T-Nuts and McMaster uh, for most of my purchasing. Brackets and, and nuts and bolts and everything like that, I actually buy them off of Amazon for the most part. Guys, I was literally about to sit down and edit this video uh, that I'm about to just finish up here, but I realized that I didn't give you guys an update yet. Last night, we got six inches of fresh powder. I have not left the house today. There was really no need to. Six inches of fresh snow. The Jeep is a little covered. It's freaking beautiful outside. I need to get back on a skiing.
all coming. Traveling is all coming. This is uh, this platform deck is pretty much done now. The rails are on top. Uh, everything is mounted. Uh, this is the removable top here. I have it off right now because I still have to put the panels on. Now, I'm actually waiting on some bamboo veneer. I have no idea when it's coming in, but I ordered it about a week ago. And I'm going to attach it to all uh, marine grade plywood. And right now I have uh, the, this marine grade plywood that is cut to actually be the back here. And then this one's supposed to be the front panel right here. And that'll go ooh, right in there. You guys, I think you guys get my point. And yeah, and then I started the second slide here. And the second slide is interesting. Um, you may ask yourself why did I get so many freaking clamps back here? Well, the angled aluminum here is was just slightly bent and bent to the point where it's not a perfect 90 degrees. So I went to go and clamp it here for it to be more, you know, upright. And this one kept on moving. So what I did was I reversed my clamps, got the distance I wanted, I clamped it in place. It's all clamped down to the table. And then I got this clamp here to kind of bring it together. So it'll bring it to an even 90 and level. And I'll use that. I'll keep that there until these pieces are bolted on. However, I'm calling it a, a day today because I need to just make sure in my head mentally that this is all correct before I start assembling and cutting and doing all that stuff because this stuff is not cheap, okay? The 8020 aluminum is not cheap, so I'm gonna make sure everything is spot on and accurate and what I need and uh, my thought process is all there and then I'll get into um, cutting and getting all that done. So uh, you guys will see obviously all that. I finally unboxed this. This actually is how I'm gonna be mounting the slides to the bed of the truck. This is L-Track, it's airline track, and that will actually bolt through the bed of the truck. A lot of people do this. That will be, it'll be anchored that way. And then the slides will be anchored to those using uh, pieces of uh, like uh, aluminum. They'll all be bolted all together. It'd be kind of crazy, actually. L-Track will sit in between one of the ribs there, and that will be actually level. You'll see what, when it all transpires, but it'll be kind of interesting on how it all plays out. I can't believe I actually did this one as quick as I did. Uh, it was about 10 days worth of work, give or take, on top of you know working on my shop, getting it together, uh, you know, I built a table uh, during, well, I actually built a table before I started working on this. You know, I, I'm gonna end the video with this. It brings up a good point where it's really nice having a team or a duo work on your projects, uh, work on your business, building a business, building an empire, building a brand, whatever it may be. I am, I'm, I'm not knocking anybody that is doing it as a team or doing it as a duo. It's just, uh, my, my heart goes out to the ones that are doing it by themselves, like myself. A lone ranger here, I'm a lone wolf. And I'm not trying to seek sympathy, I'm not asking for that, I'm just trying to explain really what we go through because listen guys, I my heart and my passion is entertainment, is bringing YouTube videos. Maybe it's how to's, maybe it's bringing a laugh, maybe it's inspiring others, motivating others. That is really what I love to do. Uh, but I do wanna get back on the comedy stage. The reason I can't do comedy right now is because the people that are out there on stages performing, they are been working comics. The people that are like left comedy for a year and a half to almost two years and are trying to get back into it, they're not booking me because I'm a not a known person out there in the comedy world. Have I even attempted? I'm gonna be honest with you, no I haven't. But will that be happening soon? Yes, it will. Anyways, my point here is simple. It is very difficult for me to sit inside, edit videos, go on tours, do that sort of thing, as well as trying to design and construct this thing behind me. And that one, and this one over here as well. You know, both are gonna be a lot of trial and error. Uh, I've had several welders approach me and say, hey, I'll weld up your frame for you. Just tell me the dimensions. I don't know the dimensions. I'm building everything around all of the other products. After this one is done, this is like a prototype, sure, I could probably do another one by sending the dimensions to a welder. Will I do another one? Probably not, unless somebody pays me an exorbitant amount of money to build another one of these, but they are not easy. I guess what I'm saying here is if you guys have a duo, take advantage of it. If you have a team, take advantage of it. You may be asking yourself, hey, Jared, 
Why haven't you hired other people? Guess what guys, I can't afford it. <laughs> I just, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. It's not that I don't want to, I wish I could. All right guys, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I got some more tours coming up. I have some, actually, I, I do have some trips planned and I've got some adventuring planned. I've got some things planned. Yeah, so I got some cool stuff planned in the course of the next few months. So you guys will see all that, I know, happen. And I got a video with Nomadic Cooling coming up, which is an air conditioner company. I'm gonna be doing installation video. I'm gonna do a lot more videos of me sitting down in front of my camera, uh, talking about this or that, uh, mostly van life stuff. So check all that out. Uh, make sure you check out ChinaTachi.com for anything else, uh, merch and consulting, later.